The election is rigged. It's a rigged system. It's a rigged election. This is a rigged system, folks. The process is rigged. This whole election is being rigged. These lies spread by the media, without witnesses, without backup or anything else, are poisoning the minds of the electorate. There you hear Donald Trump ramping up his claims that the media are biased and that the election is rigged. The Republican nominee taking it even further, suggesting the polls are rigged as well. Just this morning, he tweets, quote, Of course, there is large-scale voter fraud happening on and before Election Day. Why do Republican leaders deny what is going on? So naive. Let's talk about it with today's media, pa media panel. Kelly Riddell is a columnist and commentary writer for The Washington Times. Lynn Sweet is Washington bureau chief for The Chicago Sun-Times. And Alan Combs, of course, you know, host of The Alan Combs Show, nationally syndicated by Fox News Radio. Uh, Lynn, to you first, and just focusing on the polls. Polls have been wrong before. Uh, could Donald Trump have an argument that the polls are tilted against him? The polls writ large are, no, he doesn't have an argument unless he tells you where and what jurisdiction he's worried about. And if he had a real campaign, then his next announcement would be that the lawyers for Trump uh, squad would be in a particular jurisdiction trying to make sure that the vote is fair. That's what happens when you suspect voter fraud. There are thousands, I believe, thousands of voting jurisdictions throughout the United States. You just can't make this blanket accusation, John, and have it make any sense without some facts behind it. So this assertion is not a fact-free one. You need to bring some evidence of a problem. A he has not. A couple of his surrogates and supporters, uh, Rudy Giuliani and Newt Gingrich, were on the Sunday morning chat shows yesterday, and they sort of amplified on the claim that Donald Trump is making. I want to play this for you now. When he talks about a rigged election, he's not talking about the fact that it's going to be rigged at the polls. What he's talking about is that 80 to 85 percent of the media is against him. That when you look at the New York Times and you pick it up every morning, on the top of the paper, there are three stories that are anti-Trump. Uh, some of them totally baseless, some of them silly. I think that without the unending one-sided assault of the news media, Trump would be beating Hillary by 15 points. Kelly, take that on. Would Donald Trump be doing much better if the media uh, weren't piling on? Well, I think the fact that he's only um, losing to Hillary Clinton by four points in the latest Washington Post poll speaks to that. I mean, the media is throwing everything but the kitchen sink at Donald Trump, and then they're throwing the kitchen sink at him. Um, over the past week, uh, by a seven to one margin, uh, Donald Trump's uh, sex scandal was covered compared to the <coughs> WikiLeaks scandal by the, by the news media. And this just shows a blatant bias. It's Donald Trump against the media, against the Democrats, and against those in his own Republican Party. So what he needs to do is he needs to rile up the base. And this is an issue with the right leaning uh, in, in the right bait, in the conservative base. Is there, the, uh, there are legitimate fears of voter fraud going on, and he needs these voters to come out and turn out for him. He's got to prove it. Go ahead, Alan. Well, he's got to prove it. I mean, he makes these claims, voter fraud, where, when, as Lynn just said. And he, you know, Rudy Giuliani, hear him say, oh, he's just talking about the media. He actually tweeted out, as you pointed out, it's illegitimate at the polls. He is questioning okay. the legitimacy of yes. an election, which is extremely dangerous. We have a peaceful transition of power in this country, and he's inciting people to try to rise up and claim a rigged election. This is the most dangerous thing we've seen in years in an American election. I don't believe that at all. Mike Pence yesterday said that they would accept whatever the electoral outcome would be. And you t I take Mike Pence's word for it. And in terms of voter fraud, there's a thousand people in, Virgi in the state of Virginia, my, no my state of Virginia, that are registered to vote that are illegal. Um, there is an FBI investigation right now of 20 people who registered for this election that are dead. So there is um, items of voter fraud that are going but out. You have how, just wi made widespread my point, we wanna, how widespread uh, we want to make that is an argument, but there is voter fraud that's going to happen. Wait, wait, no one is saying that there is no voter fraud. Okay. Uh, where it exists, address it. That's very different than saying that the election is rigged or that there's unknown voter fraud. You just actually proved a wonderful point. The system works. There was a problem, it's detected, it's being addressed. And you, I applaud you because you proved the point I think that Alan and I are trying to make. Uh, you have a specific situation 
and you see and make sure that the uh, local authorities so, are addressing it. So what about in Pennsylvania, one? Lynn? So what about okay. in Pennsylvania, Lynn, when, where the Secretary of State of Pennsylvania mailed out 2.5 postcards to, um, to people who had a uh, driver's license? urging them to register to vote, but the Secretary of State did not check whether these people who had the driver's license were legal or illegal or legal residents and were applicable and could, were eligible to vote. This is the, out there still, the and there is, is no Donald investigation going on. The problem is that Donald Trump is talking on. about this election, free voting already being rigged, and there's no proof of that. He's already saying the election of November 8th will be rigged. There's no proof of that. He's a desperate man trying to save his candidacy when he knows he can't win, and he's speaking inanely and insanely try to, to save his behind. That's what he's doing. Alan, I'd like to flip this back at you. Isn't it the Democrats saying that Russia is out trying to hack and influence our le yes. election right now? Yes. How is that not undermining our system? You're trying to change the subject to try to save the I'm family not. I'm candidacy. Just pointing out, I'm just pointing out what yes, the Democrats are doing. Let's stick with voter fraud. Let's just stick with one thing so we could get through this segment. Let's stick with doesn't voter it, fraud. Doesn't, it, doesn't that undermine our electoral you system? You would like if to you're, change if the if subject if to WikiLeaks and anything if, else beside a rigged election? If your point is that we've got an honest and true electoral system, and I do believe that, then why are the Democrats out there trying to trying to say that Russia has a hand and we should Donald all be aware. Donald Trump is undermining our democracy ballots, by not... trying to delegitimize an election. It's dangerous. All right, Lynn, let me ask you this question. Uh, in any other election cycle, it would seem that the WikiLeaks revelations about what's been going on inside the Clinton campaign, attitudes about various people, would be front page news. But all of it seems to be getting buried under this avalanche of bad publicity about Donald Trump. Is that appropriate? Well, I don't know if I agree with you in this era of the Internet. There's no true front page, as I lament the, the uh, <laughs> okay. denouement Point of, of print. So that's, that's not, there are plenty of stories on WikiLeaks. And the, uh, there's an ebb and flow of a news cycle. Certainly when you have, uh, you can't ignore the uh, videotape with Donald Trump making uh, sexual inappropriate remarks about women, to say the least. You can't ignore women coming forward. Uh, who have stories to tell about sexual advances. He has a defense. He could make it. But the, the point is there are so many outlets now for people to get information. And the WikiLeaks themselves are out there for people. WikiLeaks.org, you could look for yourself. This is an amazing opportunity for people who are curious. Just type in the names of people you're curious about, and those emails will pop up. So I think there is no uh, there is no curb to any information that anyone wants about uh, Hillary Clinton and her emails because because of the internet every story that's being written by the various news outlets is available to almost everybody. Always fun to have you three on. We're going to have to wrap it up there. Thanks very much, Kelly Thanks, Riddell, uh, Alan Colmes, Lynn Sweet. We appreciate it. Thank you.